Welcome to winter in Queensland. It's a glorious time of year here on the coast. Things are, are flowering and lovely cool conditions for growing and we can grow lots of things that we can't do at other times of year. Beautiful things like these violas and pansies, lots of other annuals. People are planting bulbs and they'll be up in the springtime. And our spring starts usually towards the end of August and into very early September. But of course it's a time of year also when our plants can suffer from diseases and there are things we can do to control diseases. In fact there are lots of things that we can do to prevent them. But it's important to remember that the organisms that cause disease, things like fungi and bacteria, are in the air, they're in the soil, they're in water, they're around all the time. They're just waiting for the opportunity to take off. And winter sometimes provides that opportunity. And that's because it's a time of year when we often have heavy dew in the morning and cooler temperatures overnight. And that, that combination is perfect for some diseases to start to take off things particularly like powdery mildew. Um, it's also a time when plants are going into more of a dormant phase. Uh, the shrubs, our uh, fruit trees and that type of thing, they can be slower growing at this time of year and that's because the soil nutrients aren't as readily available. And so we do find things like our citrus trees and our pawpaws or even plants like our exoras uh, are slower growing because they can't access the nutrients as readily out of the soil. So these combinations coming together provide the ideal storm. The bacteria and fungi are out there just waiting for their opportunity. The conditions are right with moisture in the air in the early mornings, cold overnight and also it can be a time when plants are more susceptible and that's because they're not getting the nutrition they could otherwise access from the soil at other times of year. So it's really important to make sure that your plants are getting the balanced nutrition that they need. And while gardeners in really cold climates tend not to fertilise through the winter time, it's quite important for us to particularly apply trace elements, to put rock dust and those other minerals onto the soil. We need to cut back on the amount of nitrogen that we use, but uh, you know, ingredients like potash in the soil and silica onto our plants are really important in controlling disease outbreaks. But when you do have a disease outbreak, there are plenty of things that you can use, you might have on hand in the pantry to control them. Things like milk, bicarbonate of soda, or even leaves from some of the trees growing in your garden. Let's go take a look. Vegetables that don't get enough sun in the winter time really suffer from a lot of pests and disease problems. And the diseases in particular are things like powdery mildew and other leaf spot diseases and a simple spray using bicarbonate soda can be a real boost to them and you can put it on preventatively so if you know the garden is going to suffer put it on in advance and you can retreat every week if you need to or every time you think it's necessary if i'm using bicarbonate of soda in the vegetable garden i like to mix one tablespoon of bicarb and one teaspoon of soap in a two litre sprayer and that's because some leafy vegetables are very sensitive to oil that we might otherwise put into the spray if we were using it for roses. If you grow roses or fruit trees, you might have heard of Bordeaux spray. In fact, you might have even used it in the garden yourself. Well, you can make your own. Bordeaux is a really traditional spray used for fungal diseases and bacterial diseases. It's been used by gardeners for hundreds of years and it's a combination of hydrated lime, sometimes also known as slaked lime or builder's lime, and that's combined with copper sulphate. And it's great for diseases like um, black spot on your mangoes, for example, other sorts of diseases that affect your pawpaws, your roses. We use it on tomatoes. We use it for peach leaf curl, a wide range of diseases. And generally we spray just in the winter time, uh, just once. Well, it's not a spray that we can use in the warm weather. You do need to Take a few precautions when you're making up Bordeaux, so make sure that it is hydrated lime, not garden lime, 
and you can't then use that hydrated lime for general use in the garden it's too strong and if you put it on your lawn as some gardeners I know have made the mistake of doing that you'll find your worms will be packing up and heading to the next door neighbours so use hydrated lime or builder slime only to make this Bordeaux mix you need to use it uh, immediately so you make it up fresh and you use it straight away I tend to soak and prepare the ingredients uh, the night before. I'll show you how to do that. And we spray it uh, readily over the trees and once during the growing season on our tomatoes, which of course in Queensland is generally in the winter time anyway. So to make up two litres of Bordeaux mixture, I'm only going to make up a small amount. You'll need 20 grams of hydrated lime and 20 grams of um, copper sulphate into two litres of water. Let's go and make some. So here I've dissolved my hydrated lime, uh, 20 grams in one litre of water, and I've just left that to dissolve overnight. And here is the copper sulphate. Again, the same amount, 20 grams, and I've dissolved that in one litre of water. I only need to make a small amount to mix up and use immediately. And I've used the traditional method of putting it in a stocking and leaving it to soak overnight so that it actually dissolves easily through the water. So here I've got the hydrated lime that's uh, mixed in a litre of water and here I've got the copper sulphate. And it's important to make sure that you mix the hydrated lime into the copper sulphate, not the other way around. Wear gloves and eye protection and protect your clothing when you're doing this. Pour the mix together slowly, a small amount at a time. And there you have it. So here we have a traditional lime and copper sulfate mix or Bordeaux ready to use. Use it within a 24 hour period. Put it into your sprayer. I'm just going to pour it in carefully here through a funnel and then go and treat a few trees. So Bordeaux is a great treatment for your mangoes in the cooler months of the year to help control black spot disease and even to control things like anthracnose, that terrible disease that hits your plants usually before flowering or at flowering when we get a wet winter season. If you're growing a bay tree and you find that it gets a few disease problems, then why not try using the Bordeaux on that during the winter time as well? It's a great treatment and it lasts actually for quite a long time. Doesn't tend to wash off easily with watering or if we do get rain. This lemon has finished all its fruiting for this year and it's just starting to come into flower. So I'm treating it here with the Bordeaux as a great protection against disease for the coming season. So we would normally treat uh, after we've harvested all our fruit on a citrus as well. Give it a good thorough spray all over the leaves, undersides, top sides and all down the trunk and branches. And of course, don't forget about your pawpaw too. When you're spraying your pawpaw, concentrate on the new foliage that's coming away from the center of the plant and also on any of the young fruit. Remember that this is a preventative spray. So the leaves that have already been affected uh, really it's not going to help all that much on those leaves the black spots aren't going to go away but it will help protect all that new foliage and that's what you're looking to keep growing through the winter time that new crown and don't forget to spray it on the green fruit they probably won't mature until about September in Brisbane and you want to protect them from all of those ripe fruit diseases that they might otherwise get through the cooler months of the year a related mix that some gardeners might find easier to make up 
is a burgundy mix and this just combines copper sulfate and washing soda and it also is very useful against fungal diseases and mildew diseases. Biodynamic growers favour the use of casuarina leaves for the silica that they contain. We know that silica is really important in plants and you can make your own spray by taking some dried casuarina leaves. You need about 60 grams and I've dried these for about five days and then just boil them up in a litre of water. Once that mix is cooled and you can see that the colour is coming out into the water, the cooled mix can be diluted two tablespoons into a litre of water and you can spray that on just about anything in the garden to increase its silica level and therefore its disease resistance. But if you've just got a few pots, why not try milk spray? It's nine parts water to one part full cream milk. Spray it liberally over the plants as often as you like. It's great against mildew diseases as well. And you can use this winter or summer. So there you have it. Just remember that diseases are around in the air, in the soil, in the water all the time. They're just waiting for conditions to change, for temperatures to drop or sometimes increase, for moisture to be around for them to be able to reproduce. They're also looking for a susceptible plant. So make sure you keep your plants healthy and choose the most disease resistant varieties. Use compost and trace elements and don't overdo the nitrogen fertiliser in your plants uh, because that will make them softer uh, and more susceptible to diseases attacking them. When diseases do occur, have some simple preventative measures on hand. So you can use your Bordeaux mixed in the winter time, your burgundy mix, you can use your bicarbonate soda or the simple milk spray really to keep most things under control. And of course, if a plant is subjected to diseases over and over again, think about whether or not it's actually suitable for your climate. Next time I'll be back telling you about tree pastes and they're great for preventing borers and generally keeping trees healthy in the garden.